What's going on, VB gang? Welcome back to the channel, All Things Strange. It's your man, Dr. Strange. And it looks like we are back in action. So I'm asking, are we stacking or slacking on? Looks like we're getting Fantastic Four number two. Dropping Blonde Box Thursday, August 3rd, 8 a.m. Pacific time. You know the drill. But I know you saw what was on the screen in the beginning, man. Let me scroll back up here. We just had an announcement two hours ago. We're getting Disney Frozen 2. We're getting some collectibles. Crazy. But you know what we're here for, man. We got to dig in. Check out Fantastic Four number two. Figure out we're going to stack the slack on it. I got a good idea that you know what I'm going to do and what I'm going to say. But let's dig in, man, because we got to see the particulars on the drop, right? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. All right, so we're here on BB's Twitter checking it out, man. Scrolls attack. The shape changing alien race has but one goal to conquer Earth. Ooh, we got to check in with the BB Twitter fam. And right off the bat, we got the homie Adam hitting us with some Go Collect info. So let's check it out right here. According to Go Collect, Fantastic Four, number two in a 9.8 CGC slab would run you $65,000. You wanted to grab it in a 9.6 there's only two of them on the census and one sale and that went for 49,000 back in 2012 so you guys know the drill man if we head on over to ebay i don't think we'll see any of these like high grade ones there but we'll see but if they are i'm pretty sure they're gonna go for a lot more than these figures we see right here man 2013 2012 nah 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 nah, nah. Not after the bull run we had. I mean, don't get me wrong, we had a little retracement. We're still going through a retracement after the bull run, but no way, no way. That's that's really old data right there. So again, you know, 9.4 run you 66. You know, I don't know how a 9.8 65 and a 9.4 no idea what's going on with these numbers. But as you can see, the numbers are through the roof. Obviously, this book is worth a lot of money. It's number two. I'm about to dig into the VV blog site and check out the article this and get the fresh. drop details. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're here. VV's blog site checking out Fantastic Four number two, and it says the first appearance of the Scrolls. The Scrolls attack Earth from deep in space. Come the Scrolls, a shape-changing alien race with one goal to destroy the Fantastic Four and conquer Earth. Can Reed Richards come up with a plan to stop them in time? This release features VV exclusive rare and ultra rare covers by Will Slinney and Frank D'Armada. So let's hop into the drop details. We got a drop date of August 3rd, 2023, 8 a.m. Pacific time. A list price is $6.99. Published 1962 and we're getting five this cover variants. Fresh. And only 7,500 total editions. Well, I like that. Number 176 is going to be the first available edition for public sale. And I like that that total edition size. I like it. It's not too small. It's not 10K either. 75 is a nice little range. You know what I'm saying? And, but the best thing I like about this drop is the list price of $6.99, man. That's, that right there is nice. Now, that's going to probably stop it from going for like $23 in the aftermarket right this after the drop. Fresh. So, price prediction wise, I could see this hovering around 14 to 17 gems. You know what I'm saying? Might hit 20. Might hit 20. I don't know. We got to see how it shakes out. We got to see how many people hit and, and retain the book. You know what I mean? And, and diamond hand it. And we'll see how many want to sell it and try and grab some gems. So, Let's check out the covers here a little bit. We're getting 4,500 classic cover commons, 1,687 vintage variant uncommons, 750 hero variant rares, 375 ultra rares, and only 188 true believer secret rares. So let us dive into the covers a little bit further and get the details here, man. This is vintage artwork. I'm loving it. Ooh, thing is capping one of the scrolls in the head. Yeah, so in this book, it's mainly three scrrolls. Unlike the movie, they don't just shapeshift into other people. They actually can shapeshift fresh. into anything. Um, so at one point, one of them tries to escape. They turn into like a, a bird. They fly out the window, and uh, Mr. Fantastic grabs them before they escape. 
and it's crazy it's a crazy read man it it wouldn't make you think that they would have even continued the scrolls by the end of this one i'll put it to you that way but let's dig into this cover man 10 cent joint i mean just to have that in my collection the comic that says 10 cent like that i mean i'm all about it i love the color scheme the yellow the red the blue all this man sucker for it you already know let's dive into the uncommon and this is kind of sick i like this actually you know what i'm saying with just the green popping in of the scrolls that's dope man so we got fa scrolls i like a lot let's check like out the rare okay okay and this is our hero variant yeah this i like this French. concept this is crazy let's check out the ultra rare here yeah this is even better i honestly wouldn't be mad if i hit the rare though because it's got like its own attribute where it's just plain white like that and then they added this you know the hexagons on this one to give it like a totally different vibe i really like what they did with that you know and it's not just a color or no color thing it's an actual difference in the designs you know what i'm saying and in the cover so this is fire as well this, this feels like fresh. a drop i'm definitely going to be going for so let's check out the secret rare and this is dope oh my bad there's four of them there's only four of them in this episode in this issue i mean so yeah there they go right there on the cover gotta love the beatles cut right there going on a little bit of eddie monster action in the front right here you know what i'm saying man i like how they made the scrolls evolve though because they got a little bit of like toad look going on a little bit of yoda a little bit of you know what i'm saying so they look a little better nowadays you know what i'm saying this but you know how we do it man we're gonna hop on over to ebay check out some price values figure out we're gonna stack a slack on fantastic four number two okay guys we're here on ebay checking out fantastic four number two know how i do i'm gonna hit the sort button highest price plus shipping get right to the nitty-gritty see who wants the most bread this for this fresh. book right now this right here is what i'm looking for fantastic four number 48 first appearance galactus silver surfer that cover right there is iconic as a kid i used to see it in the comic book store high up on the shelf meaning like you're not even supposed to touch this don't even ask about it just admire it from afar you can't even afford it don't even yeah that's what this book was for us as a kid right here we knew what was in it um so let's see if we can find ours here let's go let's go okay we got a fantastic four number two 8.5 first appearance scrolls second appearance fantastic four going for 10k check it out right there okay so somebody else was a 7.0 for about 9,000. So yeah, like I said, guys, you're not going to find this book on eBay in a high grade. Most likely they're going to try and filter that through the auction houses and all of that. So the question is, are we going to stack a slap on this book or am I? I can tell you off the rip, I'm definitely going to be stacking this, this book. But we still do got bombardment and drops coming. So I'm trying to play this accordingly. I would say I'm going to be stacking on this book. So if it's out there and it's priced decently, especially in the first couple days, I could see, you know, this book at 7,500. I could see a nice entry point, like I said, around 15 gems, hopefully, right after the drop. And then, you know, I could see a couple people letting them go for around that, maybe. Same time, I think the floor might rise up rather fast. This is and fresh. this could sit around 20 to 25 gems easily. So, you know, I'm going to be basically trying to snipe out the market, man, as soon as this is over. Um, I think that we all have a good shot on a drop of getting one. I'm still not sure. Kind of touch on the update that VV did. Um, and they tried to address things going on with the drop and rebounds. Um, I would say that there's even more deeper issues than what they touched on. One of them being that this is we've fresh. had drops with decent sizes mint sizes and there's been people who on the drop went for the drop it said they didn't get the drop they went for the rebound i believe they were able to get the rebound but then after the rebound it wasn't sold out so the question was like well if it didn't sell out in the very beginning to where it's saying I wasn't selected and then 
I took advantage of the rebound period, but it just wasn't sold out. So the person just bought one of a book that wasn't sold out that if they perceived it to have sold out on the this drop, that made them want to go for it on the rebound. Whereas if they knew it didn't really sell out, they might have just been keeping their eye on the market and played the market and grabbed it for cheaper. So it's kind of still a problem what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I would say. Like maybe you guys do or don't understand what I'm breaking down the scenario is. Let me know down below. But I think you understand what I'm saying. If they meant a comic at 7500 and literally 3500 of us fresh. go for it, that means we should all hit and then that should have whatever remaining is what I'm saying. None of us should get the we were not selected and then 15 minutes later go for a rebound that's not really a rebound. It's just it was never sold out to start with. So we'll see how this drop goes. I don't know if it's going to sell out of 7500 right away. I think it's just a thing where again if we all go for it and it's like five thousand of us then all of us should hit it then i guess after that it's not gonna let you buy again for 15 minutes and then we'll buy the second round this up and then we'll go from there you know what i'm saying so technically i'm gonna be stacking on the drop if i can and i'm gonna be stacking in the aftermarket if i can but let me know down below what you gonna do for now your man dr strange all things strange is out This is